Clinton or Trump, it's time for America to decide. We've gotten to a place very far from our founding fathers, and it's a little bit scary. What is it that's uh, motivating them to, to go for, for Trump rather than Clinton? Well, part of the explanation comes in this, income levels. We've been watching the results uh, coming in as they've been counted over the uh, past hour or so. First Clinton was ahead, then Trump. Hillary Clinton could potentially win it just without Florida. It's that famous red cap that Donald Trump has been wearing for the whole of his campaign. They were throwing them out like sweets, and the crowd here were going absolutely mad. The ones that voted for, a large degree of them voted against Trump, not for Hillary Clinton. New Hampshire Sky saying too close to calls. That's another one. The number one thing is we do not want Hillary Clinton in the White House. The Trumps watching uh, there with the vice presidential running mate Donald Trump again a nose in front, 49.4 against Hillary Clinton, 48 there. With, and Virginia... Still too close to call. Electoral votes is how you become president of the United States of America. Ooh, we'll just give them a bit of a wide berth. Uh, they're onto the martinis now here. Uh, this does feel a lot like the fall in the pound that we saw on the 23rd of June. A very big fall indeed on the, for the, from the Mexican peso. In fact, the New York Times is running a live results forecast and it's got now uh, an 80% probability that it, Donald Trump uh, will win the presidency. Ohio uh, looks pretty certainly to uh, go for Donald Trump. And what does this mean for the United States on the world stage? We genuinely don't know. We'll accept it. That's what we do in America. I feel like I'm moving to Canada. What about Michigan? He's looking like he's got a good chance in Michigan as well. Hillary Clinton was hoping for that one. Fox is now calling Florida for Trump. Yeah, there's not a whole lot of smiles here. Um, it's a scary thing. Apparently a lot of people in California tonight are rushing for the marijuana to comfort themselves. Iowa for Donald Trump and also Wisconsin for Donald Trump as well. So those uh, results coming together in a real surge and that brought huge cheers from people. You can see uh, what's happening on the floor here. Uh, people are very, very quiet. They are sitting on the floors here. They are watching these results come in. Well, see Great Britain and America, see how we're hooking up now? Going rogue. They're still uh, chanting, we believe she will win, down at the Clinton rally headquarters. And she has not done yet. Trump wins Wisconsin. So Sky is calling Trump winning Wisconsin there. The big networks just yes, called this for Donald Trump. Hugs, kisses, chants. Well, Hillary Clinton has rung Donald Trump to concede defeat in the US presidential election, according to TV networks here. and confirm that Donald Trump will be the 45th President of the United States. And I can only say that while the campaign is over, our work on this movement is now really just beginning. We're going to get to work immediately for the American people. And we're going to be doing a job that hopefully you will be so proud of your president. You'll be so proud. Again, it's my honor. It was an amazing evening. It's been an amazing two-year period. And I love this country. Thank you. Thank you very much.